Hey guys, what's going on? It's I touch stuff here that's spelled with a zero, bringing you guys a tutorial on how to root your Kindle Fire running version 6.3 or 6.3.1 on a Mac. In this case, I'm running 6.3.1, but this tutorial will work for either. Um, and I know the majority of tutorials online are for PC, um, and that's mainly what this whole root scene uh, is being done on. So. Uh, Having a tutorial for Mac is, uh, I guess, kind of unique, and you guys can thank uh, the developer, North Mendo, for that. Uh, he's the one who's making uh, all of these tutorials, or this tutorial in particular, possible um, for rooting your Kindle. First step is to go to Firefox or your web browser and go to northmendo.com backslash breakdroid. You should be greeted with this blog type of website. Um, and the first thing we need to do is go to Downloads, and we are going to be downloading Breakdroid 0.6.4 so click on that download button save the file I already have it so I'm gonna go to finder and go to my downloads and drag Breakdroid 6.4 DMG to my desktop and double click to open it up and the real important thing here is to make sure that Breakdroid is always mounted so I'll go ahead and open up finder here uh, and under devices you should see Breakdroid on your computer uh, and you don't want to eject this at any point during this tutorial because Breakdroid needs that to be mounted to your computer in order for it to run now there's a bunch of different programs here that we can use but the only one that we're going to be focusing on is Breakdroid um, and in here we can also access the readme and whatnot uh, it did open up two pages for some reason but that doesn't matter just quit out of one if that happens to you um, so first thing or not the first thing anymore but uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our Kindle via USB cable to our computer you should see the transfer files from your Kindle to computer uh, screen pop up on your Kindle click disconnect uh, and then I know in previous tutorial I said you needed to install ADB and Fastboot um, I do have them installed on this account which is uh, my YouTube account so it's less cluttered for making videos and stuff um, but I have done it before without having ADB installed um, but if there's any point in this tutorial that you need or something goes wrong that uh, I haven't explained to you already how to fix um, then go ahead you want to go back and install ADB and Fastboot um, it's pretty self-explanatory what you need to do there once you click the four key um, but what we need to do is hit the number five for Kindle tools and you need to understand that this voids your warranty and you're responsible for any damage that you may do um, so know that I know that uh, I've done this already everything went fine now the big difference between this update to the last update uh, for break droid is that this update is not automated anymore. Previously, you'd hit one button in terminal and it'd do all the steps for you or a couple buttons. But here we're going to go through about five different steps. Um, but these steps are pretty easy to follow. And the big thing is we're going to have to turn off our Kindle every time we go through one of these steps. But don't worry. We don't have to reboot fully. Uh, and I'll explain to you what I mean by that later. Uh, so all we need to do, since our Kindle's plugged in and it's just sitting on the main screen with your carousel uh, and whatever, you just need to go ahead, hit step one, and hit enter. And you should see some processing going on in a second. So once the daemon is started, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys something real quick that I had trouble with at first. Um, it's going to say sleeping for 15 seconds after it's transferring the files, and you should see it on your screen uh, right about now or so. Uh, it says sleeping, you'll see eject, click OK. And what it'll see on your Kindle Fire is the Kindle Fire text with blue fire logo, and it says press power button for boot menu. Don't touch it at all. Uh, just leave your Kindle Fire alone. When it says sleep in 15 seconds, just let it sleep for 15 seconds. Um, and if you don't touch anything, you should see that the bootloader was flashed properly, uh, and it was written properly, and it finished, and your total time is displayed. Um, if you did press the power button while it said sleep in 15 seconds, you would get stuck at something that said waiting for device. Um, if that did happen, just go ahead, reboot your Kindle, and just follow what I just told you. Um, don't touch it during the sleep time, uh, and everything should go fine. You should have your boot loader which is fire 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 uh, all installed properly and you should see now it says hold down the power button on your Kindle until it turns off and when the screen is off turn your Kindle back on to continue so I'm gonna go ahead hold down the power button it should take about 10 seconds or so of holding down or until your screen goes black and then we'll go ahead and turn it back on 
so my screen has just gone black and I'm just press the power button and right here it's very important that again where it says press power button for boot menu you don't press the power button just let it sit at this page and hit the two key on your computer and hit enter and it's going to go ahead and flash recovery uh, if at any point in this tutorial you get the error or it's just stuck on waiting for devices uh, you want to reboot and make sure that you go back to this main page where it says press power button for boot menu you don't want to continue past there at all I know it says turn the Kindle back on but that does not mean fully you don't need to reboot all the way back into the OS um, to continue otherwise this tutorial won't work um, so once flashing recovery is all done we can go ahead and turn off our Kindle by holding the power button for 10 seconds again and then we'll go ahead and turn it back on Alright, so it's off, and now pressing the power button to turn it back on, we're going to go ahead and hit the option number 3, and hit enter. Step 3 goes by insanely fast. Um, I think all it does really is just install twerp, um, and it's made by TeamWin. Uh, and now you can see the next step is to hold down the power button for 10 seconds again. This step is a little different. Um, but it's pretty easy to follow. All you gotta do is when you turn it back on, you don't want to press anything at all. Just let the Kindle do everything by itself. So mine's turning back on as I speak. And again, the first page is always press power button for boot menu. Wait about five to six, seven seconds, uh, maybe even ten, and it should switch to booting at the bottom. That's a good thing. And uh, once it goes there, the screen will turn black, and then in a couple seconds, it'll reappear and then the curtain that says team win should come down and then go up and you'll be inside recovery so I'm at the team win screen right now hopefully I'll have some pictures up on the screen for you guys to see um, since I'm not showing you my Kindle exact exactly uh, but right now I'm inside twerp uh, and the big thing from uh, the last break droid update I know I said there's a bunch of big things but there really are uh, the last one featured Clockwork Mod Recovery, and this one, uh, the new 0.6.4 update, features Twerp Recovery. Uh, Twerp was made by Team Win, uh, and I believe Clockwork Mod was made by Doomlord, maybe? I don't, I'm not too sure about that. Um, but Twerp is much easier to use. It's very user-friendly. In Clockwork Mod Recovery, we had to use arrow buttons and stuff like that to navigate through the system. Twerp, you can just press on the buttons. Uh, if you're following the tutorial and you see it on your screen you can test one of those buttons by pressing it but I wouldn't recommend that right now um, and this is what we're going to be using later on uh, if you ever want to flash a ROM or something like that so from twerp all we need to do is now hit choice number four and hit enter S the starting of step four might take a couple seconds um, so don't think your program's broken or something because uh, it always takes a couple seconds and then it's going to say installing root files and here it's going to give me an error I believe because I already have uh, my root files installed so it says can't rename uh, this right here no such file or directory you won't get that you'll just get waiting for device uh, and now I did say that waiting for device was a bad thing um, but for step four that's not the case it just because the device has to reboot it's got to wait a little bit and you should see it uh, finish in a couple of seconds. Now let's go ahead, I think this is for the last time, um, power down the Kindle by holding the button for 10 seconds, and then we'll go ahead and turn it back on again. This time we don't have to press anything, and we gotta wait until it fully boots up until the Kindle lock screen. So, uh, after you see the Kindle Fire with the blue text go away, you should see the main boot logo appear, which is the Kindle Fire with the orange just red fire text. Um, and then immediately after that, you should see your lock screen. Don't swipe to the left to unlock the device. You just want to leave it at the lock screen and go ahead and hit option number 5 on your keyboard and hit enter. It's going to go ahead and transfer superuser.apk. Um, again, I got a failure. Hopefully you guys won't. Um, I only got a failure because I've done this process before, so I'm already rooted. I'm just making this tutorial for you guys. Um, so this line that I'm highlighting right here where it says failure, install, failed, already exists, that just means I already have it. You guys shouldn't see it. All you should see is the package uh, directory, which is superuser.apk. So this just means that we have superuser permissions now, and we can go ahead and slide to unlock on our Kindle. If you get the transfer files page, just click disconnect, and then you can go ahead and unplug your USB. The way that you know you're rooted is you should see now in your carousel uh, a little gray box with an Android logo with a little eye patch. You click on it, it'll bring up a recent changes 
uh, thing and you can quit out of that and go back and this is just super user you most likely will never have to use this uh, this is just verification that you do have your root and if ever you want to install or flash a ROM you're gonna have to go ahead boot off your Kindle and boot into twerp and install your ROM whatever ROM you desire and of course inside the Kindle tools there are a couple more features I'll go over them really briefly um, if you hit number six it's gonna update your bootloader I'll give you an example real quick if I hit six it's gonna bring up another window and it's gonna tell me what to do and you just follow in this window it'll tell you everything it's really self-explanatory um, it's really easy to follow but if you're following this tutorial around the time I came at uh, this tutorials being published to YouTube, uh, I'd say a month or so, you should have the most recent bootloader, which is Fire 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 version 1.4a, and also if you ever want to update recovery, the same thing, just hit number 7, uh, and it'll give you some steps to follow. Um, I don't know what the exact most recent version of Twerp is, but I know uh, as of the time of this video, I have the most recent version, and if you're following this one right now, you should too, unless you're following this tutorial a year for now. Um, but then I wouldn't see why you're on 6.3. Also, you have an exit fastboot mode, which if you ever get a yellow triangle um, while booting up your screen or booting up your Kindle, uh, that just means you're in fast boot, and you just want to go ahead, plug in your Kindle, disconnect, and then go ahead, come into this terminal window, and hit number 8, and it'll take you through steps to exit fast boot mode and boot up your Kindle properly. So. Uh, I hope you guys found this tutorial very informational, and your Kindle is hopefully now rooted. If not, again, leave any comments, questions down below. I'll try and help out. Um, again, I don't know too much about this uh, particular topic. I just know how to do it. Uh, and be sure to go ahead and donate to North Mendo. Um, at northmendo.com backslash android. Big thanks to Step2. Um, he is another developer. Um, he's the one who I kind of started talking to, got me into this Kindle rooting um, type thing, making videos for it. And he's the one who wanted me to make a video for rooting version 6.3 and 6.3.1. Um, so thank him if you followed this tutorial and it worked, and also thank North Mendo. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you ever want to flash a ROM, just Google it, you know. I'll see you guys. Take care.